Hello, this is Debbie Lacken from Kids Around Dogs. And I'm Molly Lacken, also from Kids Around Dogs. Yay! So, um, we wanted to do a little video where we have a bit of a, uh, um, if you like, a bit of a chat, a bit of a discussion about a certain topic. And I have a topic in mind, but I haven't discussed it with Molly beforehand because I wanted to come as natural as possible, especially like your opinion as as a, a child and as a target audience. I have a question. Yes. Is it about kids around dogs? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> totally my daughter. <laughs> Can I, um, do I get to guess what it is? Well, it's, it is a little bit difficult to guess, but if you want, you can try. Are we talking about what to put in your Kong? <laughs> in the Kong? No, we're not talking about the Kong today. Um, are we talking it's a little about bit more... safety? Children? We are always we always uh, um, uh, talk about a certain degree of safety. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it about a certain degree of safety? <laughs> oh my gosh! You're <laughs> <laughs> wow, gifted. Um... Is. It's it's actually more of a discussion on on the certain use of certain words, right? So let me explain it better. Do you want me to? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, we, a lot of people, especially now that we are, uh, you know, approaching Christmas uh, and we are around the festiv festivity and stuff, we talk about naughty and nice, right? And I, I use it too with you, don't I? I? Put my hands up, I know I make that mistake. But because it's such a, uh, such a classic thing to do, like everyone says it. And so it kind of becomes part of our daily yeah. talk. Yeah, and everyone's naughty and everyone's nice. There is a little bit of naughty in everyone, a little bit of naughty in everyone. So the my the point that I'm making is that if someone says, "Oh, Molly's naughty," you kind of tend to think of kind of wanting to not not liking that person very much, don't you? But if you used a different word like cheeky, then you'd be like, "Oh, that's funny, isn't it?" It could be, exactly even just a change of the word can make you change their opinion about that person. Yeah. Um, can you describe one thing that maybe you do or a friend of yours has done or I have done that you think, oh, that would be naughty. But if I say naughty, then that person is not, is not nice anymore. Um, I don't know. <laughs> What if, this is just an example, okay? I'm not saying that this happened. But what if you have a friend that, uh, say you're at school and she opens your bags and empty all your bags on the floor? Would you describe that as a nice friend? As a or maybe friend. That's a naughty friend. So if, uh, if a friend of yours were to do something like that, what, you know, would you go, that's it, we're not friends anymore, I'm going to do the same to you. Or would you try to understand why she's done it? Well... <laughs> or you would have another another solution. Well, another basically, idea. what I would do is I would just be... I would, or I would ask them... Or like, I would get a bit angry at them and ask them why they did that. And then, or like, see what they said. Because if they were like, oh, don't worry, it's just a joke. And I'd be like, well, it's not really a funny joke, is it? <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, You're not going to be a comedian anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll grab the bag and throw it in the thing. Would you really? No. No, you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. So, um, say that they, you say, oh, what did you do that for? And you go, boo. And, and that friend goes, just because I wanted to see what happened. <laughs> oh, feel? I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. I mean, if all your stuff were on the floor. Oh. What if they say, because I'm bored? Yeah, I'm bored, so I just chuck everything on the floor. Just chuck yeah. everything on the floor. Yeah. It wouldn't make sense to you. Whatever, to be fair, right? A friend of... And that is not that unusual. Like, I'm making an example, but it's not a very strange thing to happen. Things like this have happened. So say that, right, if this friend of yours comes to you, open your bag, chuck everything on the floor. We say, oh, what did you do that for? Hmm. Because. Um... You know, even an action that whatever the answer is makes no sense to us, right? Although it's not an unusual thing to happen. What if they say, um, like, what if they're like, ha 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 ha, I hate you, and then they leave? Oh, that's it's so sad, would not it? But again, would they, it might not be that unusual. Maybe that in that moment they feel that way. And then the next day they come back to school and they're like, 
Hi, how are yeah, you? Yeah, you're my how best friend. How was Christmas? Yeah, yeah, my Christmas wasn't here. Yeah, it was going to happen. <laughs> but yeah, it, you know, very often when someone acts in, 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 in a certain way that is over the top and makes no sense, there is often uh, something behind it. So they might be feeling upset. Or you know? they just mm, 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 like, or they might have heard like a rumor that you did something, like you talked behind their back or something, even if, if you didn't. Maybe or, if like it... someone was making it up. Yeah, and and you know, say that yeah, say that they've heard something like this, so they would act up on it because they are actually hurt that they think that you said something behind their back. So even a, a reaction that is so strong and, and and not a nice one it's actually a feeling that has to come out somehow right and uh, so that feeling is often a feeling of hurt a feeling of being upset a feeling of being sad you know whatever and they're acting in a in a you know not nice way to show those feelings so if you think that that friend is actually hurt and is upset and everything, would you be angry or would you think, oh, I actually feel sorry for her because she's actually hurt? Well, I would probably be like, um, I would probably like, if they thought it was a rumor that someone had like spread, mm -hmm. I'll just tell them, like, I'll, I'll ask them why they did it and then the, then they would say oh someone told me that you were talking behind like badly about me behind my back and then i'd be like no i wasn't and then they would probably say don't lie or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. or they would believe you mm -hmm. and then you'd um, try and prove it that you yeah. didn't and um and then hopefully by the end they would like um be like oh okay yeah you're right you didn't do it um yeah. So that would mean that you could potentially become friends as well, couldn't you? Well, we were already friends. To begin yeah, with. but you know, like closer if you like, yeah. even more friends than before. Yeah. So we always have to consider actions behind things, right? So let's compare it to dogs as well. Like cheeky dogs sometimes might steal shoes. Cheeky dogs like Winnie. Cheeky dog likes Winnie, right? Winnie does like, does like shoes. But you wouldn't say, like, if I was like, oh, Winnie's so naughty. Mm. Um, and if, then you'd be like, oh, no, I wouldn't want to have her if I don't. But then you exactly. know, if you were like, oh, she's so cheeky, it's so funny. That, um, like, it depends on the way you say it and what you use, like, and what descriptive words you use. And so if I'm like, um, oh, Wilco is the nicest dog in the world, they would, they would like, be like, whoa, and be even more like wanting to have this mm -hmm. dog exactly mm -hmm. so let's say that um we knew wilco sometimes are a little bit cheeky and they, and they are it's, every you know every dog and every person on the planet at some point is a little bit a bit like mm, she, they we all do something that might not please everybody right and that's that's a, a fact of life um but say that maybe a dog does it more than others and you say oh gosh a dog is a nightmare it's so naughty you just instantly think of that dog or that person as someone you don't want anywhere near you. Yeah. And uh, someone that is not nice and you might even want to punish. Say, um, oh, Molly's been so naughty. I don't want to She's have anything. She's a burden. She's a burden to me. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with her. So, I, you know, people could even think that, you know, that's it. We need to punish Molly because Grr. <laughs> we need to punish my what are we gonna put you on like a, the lion's den and there you go child this is where <laughs> you're gonna spend your life now um but yeah you know people may might have the attitude of going right that child has been naughty molly's been naughty so we're gonna punish her right Winnie, <laughs> winnie's been naughty so we're not to punish her but that's not right because we punish behind... dogs no oh I know. little children oh children um you punish daddies <laughs> um, the thing is um if if like if you're gonna if you punish them then they this they can't talk mm. then, then they're just gonna um they're just gonna keep on being rebellious <laughs> but it's not even that there is no point is there in punishing for doing something that we don't like so we always need to consider Right? What's what's behind everybody's action? Yeah. 
Do you? Does that make sense? Do you think it's right? Yeah. Because if someone's bullying you, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. Sorry. Like, um, because if someone's bullying you, there's always a reason. They're just not gonna bully you for no reason. Like, like if they, if you've literally done nothing to them and they've done nothing to you and nothing's going on at home or anything like that, there's nothing to make them upset. And they're like. You know, very somebody we are bullying. Be like, what on earth? how are you even a bully? <laughs> um, then the the like, there's no reason. What's the reason for them to do that? Because they have no reason to do something. So that's why they w they wouldn't be doing it if they have no reason. There might be something that we don't know about. Yeah, yeah. Like if if if. It was like the almighty uh, viewer <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and they knew everything about that person mm -hmm. and that they were like bullying um, them for no reason at all. There was nothing going on at all. Then then there would be no point to bullying mm -hmm. them. There would, no be, there would literally be zero reason at all. So why would you? So sometimes also, don't forget the children and dogs, tend to mirror other people or uh, other dogs. You say that um, that you were really anxious and you were like really, really sad and anxious and you were crying um, and that like you just didn't feel very happy, then um, your dog would also not feel very happy. Yeah, they can pick up on things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing as well between humans and parents and children is that especially when younger children do copy as adults and they do um, learn from us a lot you know so if i were a bully girl. and i were girl, and i were one of those people that just treated people badly <laughs> um it is you know it's very likely that you would be like this too and what worries me the most is that as I talk and she act like this, and I'm talking about children copying their parents, <laughs> what do you think of me? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so, they, I think at the end, what, what I wanted to get at, and for you to, um, to reflect on, is the use of the words that we, you know, that we, um, they come out of our mouth every day. So things like naughty or horrible, grr. you know, grr, or negative words can really have an impact on how we view people and how we treat people as well. So, like, if you went up to someone and you're like, oh, you're so annoying, but you were joking um, <laughs> for some reason, mm -hmm. then they would think, that person's really rude, I don't like them. Not very nice, isn't it? Yeah, no. Not nice. mm. and, and they would think, like, um, they would be like, I'm not going to be friends with them because mm. they're being quite rude to me. Yeah, why would you want to be friends with someone that says you're annoying? Yeah. You know, it's and not, then they're like, just kidding. Ideal, just kidding. Um, and the other thing we need to consider is there is always a reason for people's action. So we ought to be try and be kind and try to understand why people act a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. And if uh, that way doesn't suit us, doesn't suit how we would act, perhaps we should talk to those people and say, oh, why did you do that? Because that hurt my feelings. Can we, you know, can we talk about this? Can we not, you know, can you not do it, please? And then maybe, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can find stop. out more. Yeah. With dogs, obviously, it's a bit different because I can't go to a dog and go, hmm, tell me. Why did you did eat you the eat? shoe? Yeah. Hmm, analyzing. <laughs> so this is my presentation. Um, so imagine this person just says that you're weird. Mm -hmm. um, the only problem is you wouldn't, you wouldn't be like, hey, why did you just call me weird? That's quite mean. Because mm -hmm. it's just quite an awkward thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. You would be like, hey, that's not very nice. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. You'd be like, um, what? And then just walk away or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you wouldn't go up to them and be like, hey, why did you call me weird? I know there's something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's talk. Let's be friends. So, yeah, obviously, it's it's very difficult to 
uh, to confront someone who is not nice to you or says things like that to you. If it's someone that you know, if it's maybe a friend or a friend that suddenly changes a bit and becomes that person a bit nasty. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you can try and confront them at a different time, but what you said or walking away is really good. Don't, you know, don't try to fight it out or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. But maybe as you, you know, as you're walking away and you think about how that person hurt you with their words or whatever, um, try to think maybe there is something upsetting that is happening to them. And the same thing happened to dogs. If a dogs act a certain way that you don't like, you need to have a look at what's happening around them. What's upsetting them? They might not be very well. They might be their health. They might be uh, that there are other factors. Maybe they're, uh, they're not being played with at all. Or maybe they, uh, they've been, been neglected. Or maybe they want to talk. And the fudge, you know, there, there could be a lot, a lot of I've things. Got another behind. presentation. Okay, let's see. Okay, so um, imagine that like um, your dog just stole your favorite shoe and ripped it to pieces, and then um, shoe parts all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like there's just been a murder. A shoe, shoe murder. Uh, yes, a shoe murder. Yeah, yeah. Murder um, does. Yes, and the suspect is your dog. Yeah. Um, and it's your absolute favorite shoe. You go downstairs and your dog's just sat there like, what? Didn't do anything. <laughs> um, and they're like, um, and they're basically just trying to say to you, no, I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't even here. I'm fine. <laughs> um, then, and then, um, maybe... They do it again and again and again and again mm -hmm. till you have Often, like yeah, one pair of shoes is left. Yeah. Um, then you'll you'll try and find out why they're doing it, mm -hmm. obviously, and um and stop the shoe the missing shoe crisis. Yeah. Um, you you can't go up to your dog and be like, "Excuse me, why did you do that?" Because yeah. they won't reply. Cause they're no, dog. They won't. Yeah, exactly. Um, they they'll just go woof. <laughs> be like what? Mm -hmm. Um, but. If you if you start to like um try and expect more, mm -hmm. um then they will probably do something that ends up that you feel like it's the the what's causing the shoe crisis. Like like say say you go into your living room one day and they're sat weeping in front of the TV. Um, maybe he made the their cat potato. <laughs> okay, the dog is watching <laughs> like this, TV, no, 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 like a Hallmark TV. movie, no, 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 no. and it's... They're like flopped not. on the floor, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, like Winnie is, yeah. right now, yeah. um, and weeping, Winnie's not weeping, okay. but, and they're, they're like, <laughs> yeah, um, then, and then you, you, and then you go into your kitchen, and they've not eaten any of the food, Maybe they don't like the food, so they're not eating it, and they're like really, really hungry, but they really don't like it. The next day, you go out and you buy another food, and they stop eating your shoes, and there is no shoe murder. No shoe murder. So that, the problem was that the dog was hungry, and he was trying to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. He was trying to eat your shoes. He was trying to eat your shoes. But he was trying to, to get your attention. Yeah. Wasn't it? No. Um, so, yeah, good point. Made very very clear took, took quite a while thank you you really did <laughs> it really did i really essentiated the problem you, yes you, in a very long in time in a dog way yeah now before we go my uh, molly wanted to show you and i wanted you to see uh something that she created so it's very very clever she started drawing um only a week ago no. no, less than a week. No, I mean, this particular thing she's going to show you. She learned the lesson a week ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, and she's been practicing and practicing. And she's been making... Can I say what it is before yeah. you show it? She's been making eyes. You know, eyes. eyes. So on the on her, uh, on the uh, Procreate, um, on the iPad. Do you want to show? How good so this is the first one I ever did. Mm, very good, isn't it? Pretty awesome. And then, and then she did more. That's very really The second one, I called it a fire eye. Fire eye. Really good. That's that's my eyes when she makes me mad. No. <laughs> she never um, makes me mad. 
this is one that I did when I was tutorialing, when I was doing a tutorial for you. Okay. Oh yeah, when she was teaching me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a blue and green one? Um, so this is our rainbow one. Really cool. And now and I then, think you're going to show my favorite one so far. This one is like a cat eye. It was supposed to be amazing. a frog eye, but it kind of looks like a cat eye. Uh, this looks like our cat Mario eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Really good. Well and then done. I wrote Mario at the bottom there. Yeah. For this as well. Oh, yeah, she did that for me. Cad. Cad, yeah. The background. That's pretty cool. The background colour here isn't very good, but I'm going to change it. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool. That's Cad. Well, um, I hope that this chat has, has uh, um, uh, kind of made you think a little bit on how to uh, use your, your words around dogs and children and how those words can really be powerful in our thinking uh, about them and how they might be feeling and how we might uh, be acting around them. So if your dog or your children are not being very, very great, just Try to think about it and try to think, right, why are you acting this way? What can I do to help you not to feel that way? Um, and when they're doing well, make sure you tell them because then they're going to draw amazing eyes. Uh, and then they're going to love you. You love me, don't you? Yes. How much you love me? 10 out of 10. Yes, I did this. Yes. yes. Mother of the year. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. See you next time on Kids Around Dogs. Ooh. Thank you.